What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry if you hear any kind of weird noises. There's the dude that lives across from me is like mowing his lawn constantly, so sorry about that. I decided to do a what's in my bag today because I really miss these videos. I have not seen someone film this in so long and I'm always so curious to see what are in people's bags. I'm really nosy based off of my past two videos, you guys know. I'm a nosy person. I like to see what are in people's bags. And for me, it depends like what I'm doing. Sometimes my bag is completely empty and sometimes it's filled to the max. Right now, it's one of those times that it's filled to the max because I just got back from a trip and when I travel, I do bring a bigger bag to bring on the plane because I just throw everything in there. Then I typically empty it out when I get home. I have not done that yet. And before I do, I figured I would go through it because <laughs> The weirdest things are in my bag. I have two purses that I kind of rotate. One is my everyday bag and one is like a nicer nighttime one. This one is my everyday bag. So this is my bag. This is the medium sized Antigona bag by Givenchy. And it's the all black one and it's the one with the longer strap. So typically the way they were made, the strap was a lot smaller and you actually couldn't wear it like around your shoulder because it just wouldn't fit it was just more for the look and people would just hold it like that or hold it like this which i thought personally was kind of stupid because i mean i like to wear bags around my shoulder and when i'm traveling if this gets heavy it's just annoying this bag is like gone through so much and still looks amazing and i love black and silver it's like my favorite thing but I do think I eventually want to get like a white and gold, something like that. I got this at the Givenchy store in New York City. It is like my favorite thing of all time. I love it so much. It just was such an investment, but I know this is going to be with me till I'm a grandma. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys, can you see? Like there's so much stuff in here. So the first thing I guess we'll start off with is my phone because it's the first thing I see. This is the iPhone 7 Plus in rose gold and this is a case I just literally got um, when I got back from the trip. It was in the mail. I got this off Etsy. I do not know the name of it. I literally searched iPhone 7 Plus marble phone case and bought one. So I, it wasn't that expensive. It's really nice. If you are curious to know what's on this phone and like how I edit my pictures and all that stuff, I recently did a video. I know I get a lot of questions of that still. I feel like people don't know I made that video, but I'll list it um, or link it down below for you guys. Oh my gosh, it's getting so bright. Blah. Okay, then I have this portable phone charger and it actually matches this really well. Wow. This is from Urban, I think, and I believe Daniel bought this when we were in New York City and our battery ran out of charge. So he just got this on our walk or whatever. And it can charge two iPhones like from dead. So it's really good. It's small, fits into like a little side pocket. It's thin, it's great. Especially if you can't find outlets, that's the worst. Or if they're all being taken, it's like, next thing in my bag is my little wallet. Okay, question, I call this a purse, but it's a bag. But I call this a purse and this a wallet, but I know people in the world call this a purse and this a bag. But to me, this is not a purse because a wallet is where you put like your money and a purse is like a bag. <laughs> that makes <some> sense. <laughs> this is my wallet, little, um, more like a card slot thing. And this is from Saint Laurent. I got this in London when I was there last year in December visiting a friend and um, it just has all my cards and stuff in here. Really good, small, compact, black, and just has been through so much. And I like it because it has like the four main slots and then in the middle you could fit more. Oh my gosh, it's literally so sunny right now. I'm so sorry. Okay guys, Dan is standing right here because he's blocking the sun because he's awesome. I don't think they can see her. <laughs> And then when it gets cloudy again, you go, thank you. Um, okay, the next thing I have, no, it's awkward because you're standing right there. <laughs> the next thing I have are my sunglasses and these I got off the Revolve website, but they're Ray-Bans. They're like the new aviators that are hexagon. What is this again when it's like a, anyways, they look like this. They're cool. They have like the little line thing at the bottom. I don't know what shape this is. And I've been wearing them almost every day when it's sunny, like today. 
Then I have this hat, which I was wearing on the plane yesterday because my head was kind of cold, but then I got hot, so I threw it in my bag. <laughs> then I have just the thing for this in case there is an outlet somewhere. Um, I have also when you travel and you bring carry-on, you need like a small bag for liquid. So that's what I have right now. Basically just toothpaste, hand sanitizer, um, moisturizer, lotion, and my little mini perfume, which is by Jill Malone. This is my favorite scent. It's the Wild Fig and Cassis, which is now discontinued. And I'm so annoyed over it because it's literally the best thing ever. <sighs> but I stocked up before they discontinued. <laughs> this is from the Edition Hotel when I was there in London. They collab with Le Labo, and so I always take the ones that are in the hotel rooms because they smell really good and they're good for traveling. Then I have some receipts, which I need to actually put away. I have a book. So I just bought this book at Costco and I have not even started reading it yet, but it was in the same section as the two last books I read. So I just decided to pick it up and it was supposed to be for my plane ride home, but I ended up falling asleep and just sleeping the whole plane ride. So I'm gonna start reading this soon. It's called The Perfect Girl. And it seems like kind of a crime mystery, which is my absolute favorite. If you guys have any recommendations for any crime mystery books that you love, list them down below because obsessed. Then I have these papers, which are actually, um, I think we got them in the mail, but they are the Maple Leaf Club Lounge thing for Air Canada, so because I'm Canadian, I fly Air Canada a lot and they have this membership for like the worldwide lounge thing. So they have different lounges in different airports all over the world and there's free food, really comfy chairs, free Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. So wherever we are in the world, we have these memberships we can go in and we don't have to like splurge on food and that kind of stuff. So I just have me and Daniel's because our cards didn't come in the mail before this trip, but I, they just came in the mail now. Then I have this, which I keep all my medication in for when I travel. It's literally a free people bag that sunglasses came in. I just kept it. So I have like gravel for nausea. I have Advil in case I get any headaches. I have also um, my pill for if I have a panic attack, which I take very rarely, but they're just like for emergency purposes because you never know. And if I am traveling, like for example, when I went to Peru, I needed these pills that were for altitude sickness and that I'll usually put in there. Then I have my passport, which when you fly within Canada, you don't need to bring this, you just need ID, but this is my passport, my Canadian passport. And then I have, oh, cause there's like a little, okay, I didn't even explain how this purse works. There's like the big main zipper and inside that there's a tiny zipper and two other little pockets that you could put like your phone or something. I typically don't really have anything in those pockets but the one of the zipper I do. So I have um, some gum, which is Orbit, the green one. Then I have some cards, which are, why are these in my wallet? Whatever. VIB Rouge for Sephora. I have Air Miles and I have my Scene Points card, which is for Cineplex, which is the movie theater that we have here in um, Canada and you get points and you can get free movies and free food and stuff if you go see enough movies, which we do. <laughs> oh, and then yeah, okay, here, this is the Maple, Cle Maple Leaf Club Lounge for the um, Air Canada thing. Then I have some headphones, which it's so annoying with the new phone because you have to always bring around this stupid thing, which is like the little connector because the headphones that come with the iPhone are the ones that just have like this at the end, which is for basically like the charger plug. And that, obviously, you can't watch anything on the plane because it doesn't plug into the plane. So I have to bring my old headphones with the adapter that I can plug into my phone. It's just really annoying and, like, first world problems. Then I have lip balm because my lips always get chapped, as well as a pen because when you fill out customs forms or anything, it's always good to keep a pen on you. This is from the Intercontinental Hotel in New York. Yep, that's everything in my bag, yay! Now I can actually organize it and put stuff away and make sure that my bag is nice and clean. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just really enjoy watching these, so I figured I'd film it. Plus, I have not shown this new bag ever, and I always get so many questions on Instagram about it. So I will leave a link for it down below, just so you know. It is very pricey. It was definitely a huge investment for me um, last year when I got it, so keep that in mind. It's not, like this is a legit designer bag. It's not a, I used to always buy uh, free people bags and then every year have to buy a new one. So this is just the one that's gonna be mine for ever and ever and ever and ever. 
and I love it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know. Comment down below some videos you'd like to see this month because I'm starting to plan out some videos for you guys. Um, if you're curious for what I'm wearing, makeup, and on my body, my hat, my jewelry, I'll leave links down below. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!